Now Team 2 and Team 1 are both finding them a bit of a hand. Yeah, I've had this one Pushka since I think 1939 and it just, and just harassing um, Prasilin's light units. I don't know if he got annoyed by that at all. So we've got the third admin up. And we still haven't got any units. They look, look, look like they're pushing a bit again. I don't like it when they do this. I always get, like, are they, is this going to be the big push where they try to break all the way through? And Team 4 have taken it from Team 2, so Team 2 are now at the bottom. But they're battling over now. So I asked Swift for some help and he brings his KB1s over to help defend this flank while I build out another admin. It's a risky strategy because, you know, if, if they decide to go all out against us when we're building these admins, we, we are in trouble. But they've got Team 4 bombarding them. And Team 2 have a similar problem. They, they're, they're trying to fight Team 4. Yeah, I, I noticed an like almost instant improvement in like cash flow as soon as those admins got built. Like even though they take time to pay themselves off, we were just getting money faster. Like I felt safe. Run run about now, a few uh, five minutes in. I felt not safe but safer. Yeah, it's six minutes forty from when it deploys, so uh it's usually about seven or eight minutes from when you get the Here build. We've got IS two, so we thought um we would use the modern tech to punch a hole in their lines, their KV ones. Yeah, they're using KV ones and Stukas. So Stukas are three hits against IS twos, so they're surprisingly good. And IS twos are cheap, only thirty five. Yeah, so I spent all my money on this. Faster than the KV ones. Got a better gun than the KV ones. <laughs> More armor than the KV ones. The KV ones are all uh, these IS twos are pretty. And Sturmovix, those Sturmovix scared me. I have to say, but fortunately, they were dummies because you know. It's two runs to an IS2, and with the KV1 support, it's a bit scary. Yeah, I was about to say it means he must have researched them, but of course he got granted them because it's total war. <laughs> yeah. So they countered with their IS2s, but we've taken out the um, the KV1, so we can drop back now. Yeah, I think we killed right. the depot as well again. Yeah, got some points, got some kills, didn't suffer any loss. And uh, I'm going to want to slow it down fairly soon, because we have a, a battle with some quite good micro, which I enjoyed, so I want to show that off. I think it's about now, so if we slow it down at uh, 12.35, it's now. So we've got the KV-1s fighting KV-1s. He's uh, fanaticized, Team 1 is fanaticized, um, which it's easy to do too early. Now Swift is retreating the injured one. And the KV-1s are pursuing to chase, but it's it's dropping back, so they keep having to creep forward to shoot it. Whereas the, these two KV-1s can shoot. Now they've changed targets, the retreating one is no longer under fire, and he retreats the next injured F Use fanaticism. The two retreating ones still carry on going backwards. So now the another one's taking fire. So he's done enough damage to kill several of them, but he's split the fire. Hope you're zoomed in on this, Swift. Yeah. And then there's <laughs> another one, and another one. So that's three KV ones down to no losses. If the other, if the team ones KV ones had been microed correctly, I think that that would have been um, he'd have lost all three of them, of course. But I think he'd have got two kills with good micro. It was so IS2 that kept saying KV ones. <laughs> Sorry, I said KV ones. I meant IS2s. Okay, so uh, 11 minutes left. Should we speed it up again? Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I just wanted to show that, because that, that is sort of... They say there isn't mi much micro in rules, but that's an example of how micro can uh, win you battles. And then again, okay, he's got the KV-1s in front of the IS-2s, so the KV-1s take the hits, being cheaper. They can be much cheaper. Uh, I forgot to speed it up, I don't know what you guys did. I'm going to speed it up at 10.50 now. Now. Uh, I'm at... Oh, one of, one of the purple surrendered. Yeah, that's right. I think the Brits surrendered. So, don't know why that was. Ah, yes. I'm at, I'm at ten. So I just pause it here and wait for you. I see when I'm at ten. And the power has just dropped as well, on that flank. So that's uh, it, it dropped and then he surrendered. 
So he knew about it. Yes, but, uh, I think. Okay. I, yeah, I think he knew Four, about three, it because the spits were moving now. forward. Uh, I hope you started that swift. Like Marcel yeah, was talking over. Yeah. What time we are at? Because uh, uh, nine forty. So about the confusion, guys. But that power has dropped, and uh, it's it's sneaking round. So it round the back of Team Four's base. The Brit saw it, and then he uh, he drops. So the American player doesn't know it's there. But King Tiger's on this front again. But we used the money from the admins, and now we have a lot of IS2s. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. Die fighter bombers. We were used to not building okay. anything for like half an hour. Um. And then we got income from the admins, so I hadn't built anything, I looked up and I had almost 300 cash. <laughs> Just spammed IST. Yeah, I've spammed guppies as well, so I can do fighter bomber support, even though it's not great against this. So one of them surrenders, he sees all these ISTs coming at him, he goes, I'm not going to manage. And the IS2s, they just drive through, you, you want to get close up so you can use the machine guns, there's no infantry in there. pumps out panthers and king tigers and that paratrooper now is gonna get that base headquarters walked all the way around and yeah the power gets the base now they surrendered I do not like people who surrender in free for games I think it ruins the game for everyone because now we can walk into his base with no resistance get all these points yeah I know I, I, I think it's horrible. really think that it's very selfish to surrender in, in free for games Um, just a note on Lagmaster's little power rush, he's uh, captured the HQ building the AA bunker, and the AA bunker killed two of the buildings, he's taken down the plane. Yeah, he killed two admins. He yes, used there was not enough plane. space for infantry base, I was so annoyed after all of that, and if I was Germany I would put Siegfried, he would just clear out everything, all the problems would be gone. But, um, unfortunately he got uh, 80, and it killed my barracks, after it cleared out that admins that I could build Infantry base, uh, it basically killed the track and it was all over. Yeah, and now the IS-2 mob, they suffered very few casualties going against uh, Team 1. Now they're going after Team 2. I thought about Team 4, but um, uh, it's nice to have a do it close to home rather than all the way over the other side. <laughs> and we can build more, of course, because we've got these uh, five admins pumping out the crash. At this point, I was so surprised you're not going for the purple team. Instead, you're going to, to just split that with me, because all of the main forces of purple are at the border between me and them, or like the team 2 and team 4. Well, and, and you had perfect backdoor to all of the artillery up, and... We looked up and we saw Orange has got nothing. We're winning this. Let's just take out his base. Um, I mean, Team 2 have got nothing, yeah, we're winning this, it's yeah, space. True, true. Um, it's, it's, we're on a major victory, it's just a case of turning it into a total victory, and that's just a case of killing a few bases. Now, we, we did that because we don't want to get cut off from home. We, we, it's nice to have a sort of supply chain home so you can get back and uh, use the air support, rather than having to cross across the middle. And you're also much more of a known quantity, because we've been fighting you during the game, whereas Team 4 haven't really touched. So we don't know how, what proportion of their forces are tank destroyers, um, how many typhoons, for example, they might have. We didn't, we didn't, for example, see that, that raid that killed two admins. We, we sort of, um, you know, we, we don't know what's going on with them, but we know what's going on with you more. So I push in on the base, total victory. And interestingly, Team 4 don't seem to react. They seem to um, go, oh, uh, don't know what to do about it. Yeah, I'm not sure if the uh, Brit was most of the force behind that Team 4. Once he dropped, yeah, they sort of faded away. Yeah, I don't know if he realised that he was on the time limit. Um, because a lot of people play no limit and are therefore unaware of time limit. Uh, but he's not building up admins as much as you would expect them. And finally he comes in with the super versions to 
Let's see if we can do something, but it's only 10 seconds. So, just a quick look at the overview. Swift got nearly three times as many kills as me. I'm not jealous. <laughs> I'm not jealous. Honestly, I'm not jealous. Nah, Swift did a great job clearing out those bases. Thanks. And in um. terms of income, we weren't actually first. The team, team four had more money coming in. And I think that was largely... Um, Plus, they had suffered less losses. In terms of during the, the gameplay and mm. they had, had more they had total more income incomes from admins. Did they? Um, quick maths? No, they didn't. They had slightly less admins, more trucks. <laughs> there. I think. Oh, okay. Oh, you're right. Well, um. The uh Well yeah, that's it, isn't it? Um <laughs> So, um yeah, that's 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 an interesting game. We've never cast anything like that before. Uh Total War is quite I don't think we cast Total War much and it's free But I I sort of I think it's quite interesting to show the sort of mechanics of free fall sometimes. Because there was a moment when I thought we were down and out. We'd um, been reduced to three K, two KV ones and two bisses, yeah, uh, push exactly. or two, uh, some AA guns, some recon. Basically, if if um, a hard push had come, we'd be we'd have to spend that money we were saving up at least, and yeah, it would save I us think you start recovering seven. when when we stop selling your base and we just focus on the purple team. Yeah, yeah. I think when you change that, focus, that, it, that it gave you enough breathing room. I think. Yeah. I agree. But it's interesting because you couldn't afford to ignore them for too long. Ignore them any longer and in the late game they are dominant because they haven't fought a battle. Um, and we saw it actually, they had those super versions at the end and if they'd, um, if they'd been a bit more aggressive with them, if they hadn't lost their admins to the, uh, the paratrooper, if they hadn't fought you for quite so long, and they, they might have done a very similar thing there to what we did with the IS-2. Uh, but I, even if you've lost, just uh, this is to everyone out there. Even if you've lost in a free fall game, don't surrender. Fight on. And it, it, as long as you've still got bases or units which can kill stuff, fight on. It's just for the other people in the game because I felt we got a bit of an easy ride because Team One surrendered, which means we can see all their bases, all their units. We can quickly finish them off, head over to deal with the other team, and that's just a it's a gift. And often in free-for-all games, it's it's just a case of who can power the person's base first. Someone surrenders far too early, and so it's who, who can get their paratroopers into their base to capture it all. And it just it ruins yeah, the entire game. Yeah, I think game, if, so the, if the team drops, that they should be turned into computer rather than idle units. It, it just doesn't seem right. But uh, just a just a plea to anyone who's playing free-for-all: don't drop. It's just not fun. Stick in there, even if you're not having a good time. Think of the other people. Yeah, plus you might get a miraculous comeback like us. <laughs> yeah, we were never quite at the dropping the, the stage where if if we did would drop, we would have dropped. If that makes sense. We were at the stage where well, we weren't at the dropping stage, but we wouldn't have dropped anyway. Yeah. Without admins. I think we were at the dropping stage. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. I think you've got to wait until they actually push. They actually push you to take you out. Well, we couldn't have <laughs> held off more than two super pressings or something. No. Well, I don't know. You could have built some IS twos, and maybe uh, I could have built some guppies, and maybe that would have done something. I don't know. It's it's very hard to say. Yeah, well, uh, if there's nothing else to say, it was an interesting game. Um, no, I don't think so. So, um, the two things I, I want to rant about this this game, I always rant about things, are don't drop and set time limits on your games. It's a lot more fun. Yeah, yeah I know. No time limit is for noobs. Don't be a noob. Set a time limit on. <laughs>
Because it, it's usual that the game's over by the time limit, and if it's not over by the time limit, then the time after the... Like, you play through these 